get ready with me while I tell y'all the story time of how one of my best friends stole over $2,000 worth of stuff from me. Um, I really debated not saying anything, but they kind of deserve it, so I'm going to. So, last week was my birthday, and me and my best friend were going to go shopping. Well, not my best friend anymore, but we went shopping on my birthday, and then she was going to come back to my house, and we were going to go to my birthday dinner. Well, we were on the way back to my house, and I got stuck in traffic because I took a different way than her, and she didn't. So, she got to my house like 10, 15 minutes before me. And was like, do you care if I go ahead and go in? I have to pee. And I was like, yeah, of course. Like, that's fine. Go ahead and go in. Can you let my dogs out too? Blah, blah, blah. And then she was like, well, how far are you also? And I was like, oh, I'm like 10 minutes away. I'm hurrying. I'll be there soon. Also, like, I have had been waiting to do, like, this big video of all my packages. So in my corner, I had, like, a pile of packages, like, this tall. But I literally did not think anything of it. I never thought, like, one of my own friends would steal from me. So I was obviously like, yeah, just go in. Well, within those 10 minutes that I wasn't here, she was going ham in my room, taking basically whatever she wanted, thinking I just wouldn't realize because I have so much stuff, which I almost didn't realize, <laughs> but yeah. Um, she took like four free people packages, a bunch of my packages, some of my packages from brands that I had to post, so much stuff. Like two pairs of my Golden Goose, my Louis Vuitton shoes, so, so much stuff that like, I'm so confused how she thought like I just wouldn't ever realize it's beyond me so i get home and we go to my birthday dinner i hadn't realized like we were in a big rush i literally like we changed clothes and left to go to my birthday dinner to meet with my whole family and then we get back to my house she's supposed to stay the night and she's like oh my mom needs me home like i didn't think anything about it. i was like okay that's fine like whatever so then the next day rolls around and it's like one of my videos for this brand is like due so i go like to get the package and I'm like, where is my package for this brand? And so I'm like looking through all my packages, looking all over my room, like frantically. And I call my sister and I'm like, dude, like, I don't know where it went. And she was like, who's been at the house? Well, it's only been my mom and her. So my mom's not going to steal my own packages from me. What? So then I like call her and I'm like, hey, like when you were packing up like your stuff, did you accidentally like grab any of my packages? Like I'm missing some and I don't know where they went. And she was like, no, like, no, but I'd never steal from you. And I'm like, honestly, she's been my friend for so long. Like, yeah, she'd never steal from me. And so I'm like, just keep looking. I'm like, okay, I misplaced them. So long story short, I look all over my room for like an hour and a half. And then finally, like, I'm like, okay, wait, we have cameras outside. So if she took them, we're going to be able to see her on the cameras. So I like text my mom and ask her to check them. But then I'm like, you know what? Like, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. So I text her and I'm like, hey, like, if you did, like, I won't even be mad if you're just honest with me right now. And like, I can come get them and get my stuff back. Like, we can still be friends. Like, it's fine. As long as I can get them back. Well, once again, I get the no, but like, I'd never steal from you. And I'm like, okay, yeah, like, whatever. Um, so then she goes, well, I'm deleting snap. So text my number and blocks me blocks me we've been friends for like four years and you're just gonna block me like just want to steal from me and block me i guess so then i text her number and i'm like hey blank um my mom just checked the cameras and we see you walking out of my house with my packages like we we see you doing it um what then her only reply is my brother will bring you your stuff to work on friday like, obviously you're going to admit it now because I just told you I have freaking proof of you doing it. <sighs> so Friday rolls around and I'm like, hey, what time is he coming with my stuff? I'm still being very nice. Why? I don't know. But I was still being very nice. Like, and I get ignored over and over and over again. So finally, I'm like, hey, like, if he doesn't get bring me my stuff tonight, like, I am going to file a police report because... That is thousands of dollars worth of stuff. Like, just the shoes were over $2,000. And she was like, um, he can't come. You can come get your stuff. And I'm like, no. You stole it. You can return it. Like, I didn't go in your room and steal stuff. No, I would never do that. You stole from me. So, after I was like, I'm going to make a police report. Like, if I don't get my stuff by the time my work is closing, she's like, Okay, my friend is on her way right now with their stuff. Then, they freaking get up there, and it's like a big 
bag, a big like Lulu bag full of stuff. And I looked through it and I'm like, this still isn't all my stuff. Still, no. You still didn't want to give me everything. So I'm like, hey, where are both my pairs of Golden Goose, my Lululemon shoes, my Lululemon scubas, all this stuff. Like, I'm giving her a list, a list, a big one of everything else I know is gone. And she's like, I don't have any of that. I don't have any of that. I don't have any of that. And I'm like, I'm going to go to the police if I don't get my stuff. Like, don't want to say this again. And I'm going to reach out to your boyfriend and let him know that you cheated on him. Because I don't know what else to tell you. And finally, after I say that, she's like, okay, my brother's on the way with the shoes. I'm like, okay, finally. Like, I'm going to get the rest of my stuff. It's still not everything. Like, I didn't text her again after that. But, like, I got my golden goose back and all, like, the important stuff. But I still didn't get everything back. And I'm like, I really just don't know what to do. Like, who does that? And, like, the thing is, now she just moved out of state for, like, college. She left literally the day after all that. So, I'm sure that's why she was like, oh, like, I'll steal her stuff. And it won't matter because I'm moving out of state. Um, well, now she's gone. Not getting it back. But just think that this story really needed to be shared. Even though I'm still nice enough to not say your name. You know who you are. So, thanks for stealing all my stuff. And, like, honestly, I know it's all materialistic things. It's not even about the stuff. It's the fact you were my best friend and you stole from me. And on top of that, like, I still did buy all that stuff with my own money. It's not like it was just given to me. Like, I work for all my stuff. I don't steal it from people. Anyways, that is my final makeup look. I'm going to go to cheer now. Bye. It is currently 6.30, which means I have 30 more minutes to do my makeup because I have to leave here by 7. And if you're wondering what I'm getting ready for, I'm getting ready for work because I got the job. They told me I had to be in by 7.30, so that means, like I just said, I have to leave here by 7, so I'm in a bit of a rush. My hair's already up and done, but I still have to do like all the other things, so I really have to hurry up. I'm really nervous for today because this is like my first job and I just have to make like a good impression but I'm also very shy so I don't know how I'm gonna like act. It's mostly like older people there because it's like a diner and it's like breakfast time but there are two girls that work there that are my age. I'm breaking out so bad right here so I'm gonna put foundation over that. I still sound like very junky which is also why I'm nervous because I don't want to go up in there like all sick and they're like ew. But hopefully I'll clear out as I like wake up. Today's like a bad makeup day and it's really annoying because I wanted everything to go smoothly. And my eyebrows were like really hard to do this morning which is why they took 30 minutes. I feel like it's because I'm so like nervous and I'm so like trying to go fast. I'm just in a rush. When I have places to be it always stresses me out for no reason. Like I'm always so like anxious. I'm just gonna blend the rest of this out real quick. Now I'm about to go in with my setting powder. I need to get new and preferably better setting powder because number one, I'm running out and number two, this is like really cheap and I could probably find something better. I think I already mentioned this in one of my other videos but I have a fat sheen package coming and I'm so excited. I literally go and check it like every single day to see where it's at and it says it's supposed to be here in like a week. And yes, I got a new sponge and it's already dirty. Anyway, so of course I'm going to do like a big haul of everything that I got for like back to school shopping. I was going to use my milk blush, but this is just easier right now. I was going to try to fix this yesterday with like the rubbing, alco the rubbing alcohol method, but I don't have any rubbing alcohol, so I guess I'll have to get some and then try. Next, you already know I'm going in with highlighter. I just really hope that my makeup looks like good and smooth in person because like I can't really tell right now. I don't want to look like a caked up monster who doesn't know how to do their makeup. Now it's time to do mascara. First, I'm gonna do a layer of Bambi Eye, and then I'll go in with the uh, Sky High. Last time I used this method, I really liked it, so I think I'm gonna like keep doing it. I'm gonna do this eye. Now I'm about to go in with the Sky High and do a couple coats of this really fast. I'm gonna do like my lower lashes, but off camera. Doing your bottom lashes is so hard. I don't care what anyone says. I just spent like five minutes on them. 
but now i'm gonna like underline like the top so it looks like darker and fuller it's literally in my eyeball okay i just finished after getting it in my eye 10 hundred times that sounded really wrong but you know what i mean now i'm about to set it with my setting spray that's it for today i'll let you know how my first day went in my next video wish me luck Hey guys, get ready with me for work, except I think I'm getting fired. So for context, there are three hosts, and at my job, I work at a restaurant, and my manager asked us to come in and have a meeting. And in the over collectively, I left and came back year that I have been working there, I've only ever been to one meeting, like we've only ever had one meeting. So she texts the three of us in a group chat, and she's like, Hey, I want to have a meeting with you guys. Is today at 3 okay for you guys? And I was like, okay, yeah, it works. So the other day, my friend said that three girls came into the restaurant to apply. And they look about our age. And um, normally, if you're younger than 18, you'll be a host. But then if you're older than 18, you'll be a server. Because that's where the money is. You just legally can't be a server because of alcohol. And my friend's parents own the restaurant. And she's been like, well, are we getting fired? And they've just been dodging the question. And I asked the manager if I was getting fired, and she just laughed it off. My manager is a super bubbly person. Like, this, she just has a lot of personality. Everybody likes her. But she's just been acting really off and dry with us. So it's just like... And then yesterday, I was like, so I'm supposed to come in at 5, but the meeting's at 3. Is it okay if I just stay after instead of like leaving and coming back like an hour later and she was just like okay like she's just been really dry so now like me and the other two girls have just been in a group chat and we've just been texting each other like oh my god i didn't clean blah 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 on this day like what if we're getting fired for that like i haven't been checking the bathrooms and all these things but i will say like the main reason why i'm so like nervous about it is because we never have meetings so i just am like scared it's either really bad or really good so but other than that like i i really like the job like it's really fun i like all my coworkers. um it's like fairly a simple job and most of the people who come in are regulars my managers are probably gonna see this video and they're gonna be laughing at me so hard if you guys do not have the huda beauty powder please get it it's so good so if anybody is hiring please let me know because i shop way too much to not have a job hey guys here's the update on whether or not i got fired i wanted to make another get ready with me because lots of you guys had questions about things i was using and so i wanted to kind of um make the story time and do the makeup tutorial in one video so y'all wouldn't have to keep coming back and forth so basically, I got there yesterday, and um, we were really scared, and she kept saying that we were in trouble, but like, I couldn't really tell if she was joking or not. This is e.l.f. Halo Glow in shade 1, the lightest one. So basically, we sit down, it was the three of us, and then um, she hands us two pieces of paper. I'm trying to talk about this fast, but basically she handed us two pieces of paper. One was saying um, our job description, and then the other one was things that we were supposed to be doing. And then we rated ourselves one through five, like if we were five was if we did it all the time. This is the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand in medium. So she was like, okay, y'all aren't fired, but we do need to go over some things. So, um, our gut feeling was right. There was kind of something wrong. This is Rare Beauty in shade Happy. It was basically her nice way of being like, okay, let's get it together. This is the Hourglass Concealer, and mine's in the shade Cream. It's so good. As for the three other girls, I really don't know. Um, we didn't know how old they were or anything, so they really could be servers. Um, I don't know. But in the video yesterday, I completely, like, forgot to mention that I actually was, like, getting ready for work work. So, like, after the meeting, I still had a shift and, like, we still had the rest of this week. So that's why we were thinking that we got fired. Because the schedule for next week hasn't been released yet. And normally, like, jobs will 
have you work the last week and then they'll tell you, you know, you're fired. I wanted to say thank you guys so much for the comments and for checking in on the last video. It means so much to me that like people are interested in like what goes on. I used the Fit Me Press Powder in 105. But yeah, even though they were stressing me out yesterday, I'm gonna stay and still work there because like I said, it's a really good job and I really like who I work with. Juvia's Place Bronzer in Light. I genuinely did think that I was getting fired yesterday though. Like I was preparing myself for the worst. Essence in the Berry Connection. You guys should definitely keep liking my videos so that I cannot work anymore and I can be an influencer full time. This is Milani and Dulce Pink. This is the Huda Beauty Powder in Cupcake. I did see somebody ask yesterday if I put anything on my nose. No, I don't because I just think it looks the most natural and I don't like the way it feels. If you guys want like a more in-depth tutorial, let me know. I use these two mascaras. Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight. 